ZBrush Core is a less feature-rich version of the full version of ZBrush? I would say yes. It has all the key features that you would find within ZBrush's sculpting section, but you don't get the more advanced features. You can use ZBrush Core for personal and commercial purposes with no limitations. Now, for those of you who are planning on getting ZBrush Core, kindly take notice of this. One is going to be file type import and export. You cannot import or export FBX files. FBX has become a fairly standard file type, though troublesome. If you want to import an FBX file into ZBrush Core, you have to first of all send it into another program. Example will be Blender. Convert it into something like an OBJ and then import it into ZBrush Core. Now, the problem here is FBX files have the capacity to hold additional information such as camera setups and animation breaks. And for you to convert your project into an OBJ file simply because ZBrush Core cannot open FBX files means you would lose this information if you happen to have them in your project after the conversion is done. And for ZBrush Core not to have the ability to do this type of export opens up a whole new range of problems. There is also a problem with the number of brushes you get with ZBrush Core and it's one of the main difference between ZBrush and ZBrush Core. ZBrush Core only holds 36 brushes whereas the full version of ZBrush has 300 plus brushes. But the thing is, the available 36 brushes you get with ZBrush Core might be all you really need as a freelancer, let's be honest. If I'm to critically examine the type of brushes available within the core version of ZBrush, I would say it would work great if you are planning on doing organic modeling. There is also a problem with the number of polys. Unfortunately, you don't get Z remesher within ZBrush Core. Z remesher is an automatic retopology tool that ZBrush has created. It does a reasonable job at retopologizing your model. Great, but still falls behind 3D code retopo and everybody knows this. This tool might not be too much of a need, but it's very useful. Some people might consider retopologizing in ZBrush through Dynamesh or Decimation Master, but the output of these does not match ZRemesh's result. Either way, I think this wasn't something ZBrush should have taken out of ZBrush Core. My next problem is going to be UV mapping. There is no ability to UV map in ZBrush Core. This is not something that I would even fight for because UV mapping within the complete ZBrush itself is uh, very much problematic. It's quite messy. Also, its controls are very limited, but you would find it very useful if you are prototyping, looking to get a quick render, or someone who isn't too concerned about their final UVs. If you want to use ZBrush Core at all costs, then you should make arrangements on getting another software for UV mapping. You know which software does this best? 3D code. I wouldn't mention Blender because it's also got some quirks with its UV mapping which hasn't been fixed yet. Overall, there is a lot missing in ZBrush Core when compared to the full version of ZBrush and other sculpting tools that falls within its price range. Aside these problems and a few others, ZBrush Core is a great sculpting tool for people who want to get into organic modeling. You should try it and if it suits your needs, give it a shot, especially if your main target is to use the main ZBrush. Other than that, kindly consider another option. 3D Coat or Blender would be a great option to look into since it's able to perform all the lacking features of ZBrush Core and falls within similar price range, with Blender even being free.